stage we have Josette. She is a teacher at Ivy Speech Arts Academy. Hey, does uh, anybody here watch YTV? Yeah? Anybody here watch YTV? Well, the, our next guest is actually a star of the Stanley Dynamic on YTV. She can be seen, uh, yes, so she can be seen on YTV, and you can actually come up here and you can perform with her doing some improv games and some acting exercises. Does any child here want to come up on stage? If you do, please come to the stage right now. Okay, so uh, we're going to introduce Josette to the stage now. Please come on out, Josette. Hello. All right, so nice to meet everybody. My name is Josette Jorge, and yes, I have two of the greatest jobs in the world. The first one is I get to teach kids acting and speech arts and drama, and my other job is I get to work on a TV show called The Stanley Dynamic. Put your hand up if you've ever heard of that. Stanley Dynamic, yes, some of you guys? Fantastic, fantastic. Does anybody remember who I am on the show? Yes? Do you know the name of my character? Um, 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 it starts with a P. Do you know? I think I heard Pam. Yes, I play Pam on the show. And I'll tell you a little bit of something about me. I'm actually not as mean as Pam on the show. Pam is a little bit sassy on the show. I like to think I'm a little bit nicer in real life. Okay, so I see a bunch of kids. This is fantastic. Can I get you to kind of sit right here on this line? Go over here. Let's go over here. You can sit down and face me. Oh, a little bit of feedback. Okay, and now turn around and then, hello. Amy. Fantastic. Great. And any kids? In the middle of our game, if you feel like playing, don't be shy. Just come up over here and join us on stage anytime. All right? Okay, so the first thing that I want to do, some of the things that we do in class, is we make sure that we can speak clearly at the school. So who here knows what mumbling is? Anybody tell you not to mumble? Mumble? Okay, so mumble, let me demonstrate. Mumble is when you kind of talk like this when you cannot really understand what you say because your mouth is so lazy, right? So at our school, we teach our students how to speak clearly. And some of the ways we do that is with tongue twisters. So I'm going to teach you a few tongue twisters to start. So the first one is red leather, yellow leather. Can you try that? Red. Good, not bad, that's pretty easy. Okay, now let's try it a little bit faster. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. All right, not bad. Okay, now let's try it three times as fast as we can. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Like that, ready, go. Okay, not bad. Who wants to try it by themselves? Put your hands up, who wants to give it a try? Yeah, you, okay, come on up. And what's your name? One more time. Olivia. Olivia, nice to meet you. Okay, so what happens when we meet someone for the first time? This is really important to know too. We shake hands and we look at each other in the eyes. And sometimes when kids are feeling shy, you know, they look at the floor or they look at the sky or they look at your feet. But it's really important to look in the eyes just like Olivia did. Okay, so let's practice this. My name is Mrs. J. Olivia. Nice to meet you, Olivia. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Great job. And squeeze my hand a little bit more. Nice. Great example, Olivia. Okay, so come here, center stage. And Olivia is going to try saying red leather, yellow leather three times fast. Ready? Red leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Nice. High five, Olivia. Great job, very brave to be our first volunteer too. As you can see, it's a little bit challenging. Fantastic. Okay, who's up next? This gentleman over here. I actually know this gentleman, he's one of my students, but we're gonna pretend that we just met each other. Oh, hello. My name is Mrs. J. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Amos. 
Nice to meet you, Amos. Excellent handshake. You must have a really good teacher. Okay, so Amos is one of our students, and he's going to try red leather, yellow leather three times as fast as he can. Red leather, red leather, yellow 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 leather. Nice. Great job, Amos. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's get two more people up and then we're going to try it one more time all together and then we're going to get into some games. Okay, who has it? You, my dear, come on up. Let's get you standing right in the middle. And what's your name? Melanie. Melanie, can you try that in a full sentence? My name is Melanie. My name is Melanie. Excellent. And shake my hand and squeeze and look at me in the eye. Good job! Okay, Melanie, she's going to try red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red, yellow, yellow, yellow. <laughs> Great job! Hey, high five, Melanie, that was awesome! Oh, you guys are so brave. Okay, one last person, because, you know, we could do this forever, but I have tons of games that I want to play with you. Okay, one last person. You up here, you're sitting nice and quietly. Come up center. And what is your name? Emma, can you do that in a full sentence now? Emma. My name is Emma. Excellent. Nice firm handshake. Nice to meet you. Okay. Want to try the tongue twister? Red, yellow, red. 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 Let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together. One, two, three. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Woo, that was hard. Good, good job, good job. Okay, so now we're going to start some games. We warmed up, we warmed up our mouths, all the muscles in your mouth. This is at our school what we call our articulators. Articulation is really important because remember, we don't want to have those lazy mouths. We don't want to walk like this. So when I'm filming on Stanley Dynamic, I have to make sure that all my words are nice and clear so that everyone can understand what I'm saying. Okay, so the first game I'd like to play is called Machines. Who here knows the game Machines? Some people do? Okay. So, all you have to do is you have to go up here and make the same noise and the same movement over and over again. So for example, what would a machine sound like? Maybe one noise is this. And then the next poet person will join in and they'll do another noise like this. And another one will join in and maybe do a completely different movement and sound like this. Okay, so I need one volunteer to start off our machine. You, sir, come on up. And what's your name? My name's Leo. Leo, okay, Leo, nice to meet you. So why don't you go center stage and let's hear your sound and movement. Beep, 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 beep. Excellent, okay. So now we're gonna have someone join into that machine. So Leo, you wanna go beep, beep, do your, do your action? Great, you're gonna have to do that for maybe an hour. You ready? You're kidding, not an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, ready, go. Next. And your name? Habiba. Habiba, okay. Let's join that machine. Let's hear your noise. Any noise that will connect, any noise that will connect to this machine. Okay, let's get another machine up. My name's Super. All right, nice to meet you. Come on and join that machine. What's your noise and movement? What? Like, oh, we got a chicken and we got a pig machine. I like this. Oink, oink. Okay, do you want to do an action? Maybe oink, 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 like that? Oink, oink, oink. Okay, next machine part. Who wants to come up? My name is Melanie. Yeah, full sentence too. Great job, Melanie. Okay, attach to that machine. Where's your noise? <laughs> Great noise, Melanie. All right, let's get maybe one more person up. My name is Happy. Happy, okay, join the machine. La, 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 la. All right, let's hear those noises again, okay? <laughs> what, what? La, 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 la. I 
love this machine. Okay, I know I said one more. Let's do one last one. You, come on up. Vista. Vista, okay. Go for it. La, la, la. <laughs> Another la la la. Okay, so let's review those noises again. This time, as big and as loud as you can, okay? Beep, beep. Ba, ba, ba. Oi, oi. La 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 la. La la la. All right, so now keep going with the machine. I'm going to make your noises louder, okay? Everybody, let's get your remote controls. You all have control over this machine. Let's make it go louder. Ready? Go. Even louder! Okay, now let's make it really quiet, really quiet. Okay, now let's do it a little bit louder. Now let's do it slow. Loud and slow. <laughs> okay, now let's do it loud and fast. And faster! And faster! And louder! And then the machine breaks down. Excellent job. Okay, now performers, put your feet together and take a bow. And round of applause for our first performers. Great, take a seat, guys. So, that's how we play machines. Anybody who hasn't gone to try, want to try it? Yes? Okay, so let's try another machine. What does this machine do? What, is the, what does the machine do? Any ideas? Maybe it makes candy, maybe it makes toys. Any ideas? What does this machine do? It can help you. It can help you. And it can turn evil. And it can turn evil? Okay. <laughs> and it can clean. A tickling machine? It can clean your house. Oh, I totally need one of these machines. So this machine, you know, sometimes it turns evil, but it can clean your house. I think that's worth it. Okay, Their parents agree. They go, yeah, I wouldn't mind one of those in my house. So this is an evil cleaning machine. Where, who wants to start it off with the sound and a movement? Hey, come on up. That's a good sound. And what's your action? Yeah, that sounds like the timer. That's really good. Okay. Quinn. Quinn, okay, come on up. Let's hear your noise. <laughs> That's a great noise. And where's your action? Do that sound again. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's get another one. Yes, come on up. And what's your name? Anya. Anya, okay, come on up. Join the machine. Beep, beep. Excellent. Beep, beep. All right, who else wants to try it? Yeah, come on up. I love your shirt, Princess Elsa. Charlotte. Charlotte. Okay, let's hear your noise, Charlotte. Quack, quack. Quack. We have a cleaning duck in this machine. I like that. Okay. Yes, come on up. And Nicole. Nicole, nice to meet you. Come join the machine and let's hear your noise. And where's your action? hear your noise. You can go next to your cousin. Woo! I think that's the evil part of the machine. Great. Okay, so now let's get our remote controls out. Let's make this machine go really loud. Ready? And go! That's great. Now let's make it go slow motion. And you know what? Let's do that touch of evil. Let's go loud and evil. Ready? Go! Whoa. And let's go faster! Faster! And as fast as you can until the machine breaks down. And then the machine breaks down. <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay, put your feet together. Take a nice bow. And round of applause for our evil cleaning machine. 
So I'll give you guys my address. You can all clean my house later tonight, okay? Okay, so thank you for playing our first game that was Machines. Now the next one involves a little bit of creativity and a little bit of talking and being really quick with your mind. So I know some of my students over here already know this game. It's called One Word at a Time Story. So I need five volunteers up, please. And if you haven't gone up, give it a try. It's really, really fun. Okay, one, two, three. Who hasn't gone up yet? Four and five. Okay, let's get you guys center stage over here, lined up. And maybe come a little bit closer this way. Fantastic. And squish together in one line. Excellent. So, this game is called One Word at a Time Story. And pretty much what happens is each person only says one word. But you have to make sure that you listen to each other so that the story makes sense. So, for example, let's start with Once Upon a Time. Once? Once upon a time. Good. Once upon a time. So that's how it works, okay? Let's try it again. Once upon a time. Time. There was a princess. Excellent. Okay, so you guys got the hang of it, right? Now, the trick is, you don't know when I'm going to point my mic at you. It's not going to be in order, it's going to be random. So you have to be ready to say anything, all right? So a few ground rules here. We have some smart kids here, but I just want to make sure that we keep it clean, no bad words, and that includes toilet humor. I know toilet humor can be sometimes funny, but I re actually don't really like it at my school or on stage. So keep it clean, but be very, very creative, okay? Anything goes as long as the story makes sense. So, from the audience, I need some suggestions. What is this story going to be about? Mm. Yes. A princess. A princess, how convenient. How convenient, right, Amos? Princesses. Okay, so I am, actually, you know what? I'm gonna sit right here, and then at any time, I can point my microphone at you. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? I can't hear you. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's play this game. One word at a time story about a princess. Once a pawn. A pawn is one word, but that's okay. A time there was a, a princess. And the princess was Hurry, hurry. Lucy. Lucy, the princess was called Lucy. Okay, so this is great. So far we have a story about a princess named Lucy. I love it so far. Now let's make it a little bit challenging. So remember when I said that this game, you have to be really quick with your mind. The first word that comes up is the best idea. If you take a little bit too long, if you go, um, uh, 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 then what happens to you is you fry like a piece of bacon, or for those of you who are vegetarian, veggie bacon, tofu bacon, and you're gonna put your hands up and you're going to fry like bacon and you guys are all going to say fry, okay? So let's try. Amos, why don't you be our volunteer? Put your hands up. Let's see you like bacon. Best bacon impression. And you're gonna wiggle like bacon on a pan. And you guys are gonna say one, two, three, fry, okay? One, two, three. Fry! And then Amos sizzles like bacon and then he'll take a seat, okay? So now it's really challenging. Let's get you guys closer together. Elimination round. So once upon a time, there was a princess named Lucy. That's how we ended. Lucy was a princess. She was a. <laughs> okay, and sorry, what was your name again? 
happy, happy, okay, happy, put your hands up, and then everybody, one, two, three, oh, just like Megan, okay, and then you can have a seat, happy, have a seat in the audience, and what happy gets to do, she gets to choose the next subject, what is this story going to be about, happy? A princess? Hmm, very great, let's try something different, do you have another idea? Spider-Man! Okay, Spider-Man. This is going to be about Spider-Man, okay? So get a little bit closer together. Ready? Story about Spider-Man. Ready and go. One upon uh, was Once upon a time, once upon a time, was that it? Okay, let's, let's start all over again and make sure that you speak really loud into the microphone so we can all hear you, okay? Once upon a time, there was a Spider-Man, he was what? <laughs> he was, was. Okay, what was your name again? Mine. Can you put your hands up in your air? And let's count down. One, two, three. Five. And you're a piece of bacon. Excellent. Good job. Okay, so what's this next story going to be about? Elsa. Elsa. Okay, have a seat. This is going to be a story about Elsa. All right, together. And I'm gonna pass this microphone a little bit faster, a little bit more challenging this time. Elsa was a snow castle. <laughs> and she, it's a, she was a snow castle. Elsa was a snow castle, was what I heard. It makes sense to me. Was a, was a, all right, put your hands up. And everybody, one, two, three. Woo, good job, all right. So your name was? Avery. Avery, what is this last story going to be about? Any ideas? How about maybe one of your favorite foods? What's one of your favorite foods? It could be about bacon. We've been talking about bacon. Bacon? It could be about bacon? All right. Okay, so this last story, thank you very much, Avery. This last story between our two finalists is about bacon. All right. So come together. Oh, and here's another rule. Now that there's two people, I get to point the microphone at them twice in a row, or maybe three times in a row. So I can go. Okay? All right, ready? You guys ready? Are you guys ready? All right, bacon story. And go. Bacon was very, po very popular. Very popular, that's two words, that's okay. And it, a lot of people like to eat it. It was very yummy and tasty and nutritious. Okay. Bacon's nutritious, huh? I want to know where you get your bacon. Okay. Now I'm going to go even faster. Okay. Ready? Bacon was a very good food to eat at breakfast. <laughs> a lot of people like to eat it at breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bacon was very nutritious and <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, put your hands up. And one, two, three. Congratulations, Amos. <laughs> Go in a round of applause and take a bow.
Okay, that was tough, right? So, it's really important, especially as an actor, but no matter what you decide to do when you grow up, it's really important for you to not only speak clearly, but to also know what you're saying and to be able to say things really, really quick on your feet. So, that's another thing that we teach at our school, too. All right. Another game involves a little bit of teamwork. So let's get five more people up here. How's it going up here? One, two, three, four, and let's see, five. Let's get you up. Okay, so this one, I need you to get really close together and put your arms around each other like your pals. I know some of you guys have just met. And then go a little bit like a dome, make a little bit of a dome. Okay, so this game is called Speaking in One Voice. So this takes teamwork because you all have to cooperate. Yeah, you can join too. You all have to cooperate and would you like to play the game? Yes? Is that okay if she joins you? Oh, it's okay? Okay. So you guys all have to speak in one voice. So for example, can you all say hello at the same time? One, two, three. Okay, that's not bad. Now you're going to have to invent these words. All right, so let's get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. All right, let's see how this goes. Hello there, what is your name? Remember, you all have to say the same thing, so it might not be your own name. Ready? You say my name is. <laughs> okay, we have one leader of the group, Amarelli. Okay, so let's make, get a little bit closer. Maybe make a, like a half circle. Can you do that? Okay. So, what is your favorite color? Make sure to look at each other and answer at the same time if you can. It's very challenging. Ready? What is your favorite color? Blue, blue and red. Okay, let's try this again. Look at each other. What is your favorite color? Blue, okay, we heard some planning here, that's good. So, one more question for you, one last question. What is one of your hobbies? Tell me, what is one of your hobbies? One, two, three. Reading, okay, okay, not bad. All right, so I think this is a little bit tough because you all have to look at each other and answer the questions at the same time. Let's try one more, let's try one more. Let's see here. What is a food that you do not like to eat? Okay, ready? And go. Orange! 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 Orange, orange pickle tomatoes. I don't think I've tried that before. Orange pickled tomatoes. All right, guys, let's put your feet together and take a bow. Take a bow and round of applause to our performers. That was a very challenging game. All right, take a seat, guys. Good job. All right, so the next game we're going to play, who here has seen the movie Inside Out? Yes? Okay, so have a seat. Have a seat. Good job. High five. All right, so Inside Out talks about emotion. So who here knows some of the emotions that were in Inside Out? And not only Inside Out, you can think of other emotions too. What, were, what was one of the emotions? Anger. Anger. Anger was an emotion, yes. Sad. Sadness, yes. Anger, sadness. Fear. Fear, yes. Fear. Happy. Happy, yes. Happy or joy. Was there another one? Disgust? Yes, disgust. Ugh. Did we get them all? Was there another one? Yes. Sadness? Okay, so I'm going to add some of my own emotions too. So this is what I like to call an emotion off. What it really means is it's a motion competition. So, you know what? I always like to have girls versus boys. So who are some, let's go boys first. Who are some boys who want to come up? One, two, three. Okay, come on up, boys. You want to come up? It's really easy. You're a boy. Come on up. Okay, so team boy. We have six boys. Now we're going to need six girls. 
six girls. It's really easy. It's really, really easy. Okay. Two, three. Who hasn't gone up yet? <laughs> Four, five, six. I think we got six. Okay, six girls versus six boys. All right, now can you guys look at each other? Boys, can you maybe make a semicircle around here, over here? So stand on this line over here. So boys, can I get you to stand over here in the line? And girls, you can stand over here in the line looking at them, so you're facing at them. Okay. Hmm. Let's make it this way. Let's have boys, can you have a lineup that looks like this? Follow my arm. So like this, here, I'll move you guys. Da 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 da. And then girls. Oh, we got more girls. Okay, no problem. Okay, so now look at your opponents. There we go. Girls versus boys. I already see you move the eye and up. Okay, so I'm going to say an emotion, and we'll get the girls to do this emotion first. So I want to see it in your body, in your face, and in your voice. Okay, let's try something... Let's try anger first, okay? Oh, hang on. I'm gonna say action, just like we do in the movies, okay? One, two, three, action. Whoa, those are some angry ladies. Okay, gentlemen, your job is, can you show anger more than these ladies did? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ooh, good job. Okay, ladies, do you think you can do better than that? Anger. So remember, not only in your voice, but in your face and in your body. Let's see your best acting with anger. Ready? One, two, three, action. Ooh, scary. And boys, do you think you can do it a little bit better than that? Do you think so? Really? Really? You don't know? Okay, let's see. Who can show emotion, the anger emotion better? Boys or girls? Ready? And action. Ah! Woo! Okay, that was, that was tough. But as a judge, I'm going to have to give this one to the ladies. One point for the ladies for anger. Woo! Okay, next emotion. Let's see if you guys can get it. Next emotion. Any ideas? What's the next emotion that you want to see? Sadness. Sadness. Okay. Let's see sadness. Let's do boys first, okay? Sadness. One, two, three, action. Okay, and boys, let's do that one more time and let's show the audience. Let's see. I know some of them are your parents. You, they've probably seen sadness before. Okay, ready? And go. boys. Okay, girls, can you show sadness? Ready? And face the audience. Cheat out towards the audience and give your best sadness. Ready? And action. Oh, so sad. All right, boys, you think you can do better than that? Yes. Okay, that's a confidence. Ready? And action. And girls, ready? And sadness. Wow, okay. Whew, that's a tough, tough, tough call. I might have to give it to the boys this time, just because I felt a little bit more sorry. Okay, the tiebreaker, the tiebreaker. What's an emotion? The tiebreaker, what a tie, what's a tiebreaker? Well, right now we have one point for the girls, one point for the boys. So they're tied. So the tiebreaker is whoever wins this round wins the competition. I usually have one that's a little bit challenging for kids your age. I like to choose, well, some kids like to think of this as disgusting, but I want to see in love. Ew. Okay, well, you know what? Why don't you show me your disgust right now, both of you? Ready to go? All right, well, too bad. This, because it's a tiebreaker, is going to be the most challenging. Can you act like you are in love? 
Okay, let's see who can do it. Let's see who can do it. Let's do boys first. Okay, boys first. In love. Ready? Three, two, one. Action. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay, girls, your turn. Now cheat towards the audience. Okay, you. Look at the audience like you're in love with them. Ready? And three, two, one, action! <laughs> Not bad! Okay, boys, do you think you can do better than that? Can you look even more in love than the girls? Even though this is disgusting you right now? Yes? Okay, let's see. In love. Let's cheat towards the audience. Look at the audience and give them your best in love faces and actions. Ready? And action. Oh. Okay, girls, ready? Face the audience, your best in love. And cut. All right, not bad. I have never screamed like that when I was in love. We'll see. Really? And they're in love with something, they go, ah! That sounds like fear. Okay, so, you know what? I'm going to have to give that to the boys. So, I just want to say thank you so much to all you brave volunteers who came up here to, to, to perform in front of an audience. I know sometimes it's a little bit scary. Some people are actually really scared to perform, and everybody here was so brave and I want to reward you. So, I didn't bring my candy. It's actually still at the booth, at the Ivy Speech Arts Academy booth, but I will give you one of our pamphlets and you can use that as a ticket. So when you see our booth, it's actually right next to the Legoland booth, just show your ticket to either myself or the other teacher, Mr. C, and we'll give you a couple of candies for your participation, okay? So, everybody, stand up. Let's face the audience our wonderful audience, and on the count of three, take a bow! Woohoo!